All right. So it's funny you use the word conscious. Yeah. Right. Because it's conscious music. There's yeah. conscious house music. There's you have to be conscious. You know. Such and a weird word, isn't it's it? It's a like? weird, weird word. <laughs> it's like the word weird itself because the word weird apparently means something that is out of the world, like yeah. know, something that's alien. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, a UFO is weird because it's out of the world. Yeah. You know, so conscious is also weird because conscious is out of the world and yeah. your subconscious when you connected yourself to your conscious it really becomes out of this world you know um what i mean by that is i don't f- i feel like my subconscious controls my art mostly yeah so i feel like all right it goes down to like how you what you feed your subconscious is how what you feed it through your mind and how you feed your body you know yeah. um so you know how there's this whole thing if you take care of your body you take off your mind yeah but i don't feel people actually continue that to say it, it also has control on your soul so like i feel like your soul is re- and then your spirit right yeah. i feel like your soul is like your where your heart is like that's how i believe where right? so you have your body of course like this is you know could I, this is yeah. who you know and like you know there's and a face see. to him and yeah. like you know and then there's my mind and then my mind is what i'm giving you right now right like my yeah. thoughts and my ideas and you know all these things and then um you have your soul which is responsible for your actual character your you know feeling your you know mood you know yeah. um that's why you can hear someone say oh this person has so much soul you know and their yeah. soul music actually is got in the right to be called soul music bro and then ultimately there's like your spirit right how i look at it is spirit is head of the, the subconscious right yeah. and spirit comes from like you know god i believe yahweh yeah. right and then who gave us yeshua and then who gave us you know ruach ruach is that whole holy spirit Yeah. So if you take off your body, right? Like, you know, you not only exercise, but like, you know, you take care of your body, <laughs> you know, whatever, however you want to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. And then consequently you take care of your, you know, your mind because now people will say that, "Ah, every time I go to the gym, I feel, you know, my mind is, you know, fear yeah. blah blah blah." And then if you take care of your mind, then definitely your mood will change and your character becomes, you know, a bit better if you're really conscious about it. Yeah. And then if you give and I feel like this is what God gave us as to be as an individual. So your soul is definitely different from mine yeah. and your body is definitely different from mine. Minds can have similar you know links but Obviously not yeah different. Right. But spirit is like if I was to say the Holy Spirit were to be in this room right now it would be able to possess both of us and we would be able to like you know do some weird subconscious yeah. shit yeah telekinesis people would say that but i don't know how far that can go like i, I yeah. don't know if i want to test that if it's meant to be if i'm going to experience that yeah. but i feel like sometimes it gets there where you're like thinking something and someone else is thinking that you're like oh shit you know coinky dink yeah another thing i want to touch on right is um curatorship um in a in another oh, interview you mentioned uh, something that uh you mentioned you also mentioned that when you were talking about uh formal education right in another interview where you like yeah, yeah. For, for stuff yeah. like curatorship it also helps right um i i get the sense that that's a path that you you want to get into yeah. um yeah but you have to you actually have to kind of school me because i come across this term a lot and it's actually odd i've never like done the research to actually learn like what a curator is like what what their role is and and why that's something that that interests you like particularly um all right so like when i enrolled at cut right yeah uh i was doing industrial design which is basically designing stuff with good ergonomics and you know cool design So that stuff like your phone. Okay. Like that yeah. whole casing, the whole, you know, where to put the camera and like, you know, how the whole interaction that yeah. then I was like, "Yeah, no." Then I went to graphic design because I was like, you know, 
it's what well, it's called visual communication and yeah and then i went to that and then so when we were there they didn't have fine art fine art they were thinking about it but there were not enough people that had you know interest yeah enrolled into that and like signed up so how it actually just got to me so like in our first year right i bumped into that when i was what i was i was actually at a gallery <laughs> and then that yeah. yeah that whole thing and then all that oh snap this is the whole thing and then i got interested in that because at that time i was also learning like art history right like part of our first like most of our first years like art history and like you know just knowing so like from that i just started getting like really keen and then i bumped into it like uh i think it was i don't know if it was after 1 1 or 1 2 i don't know but like yeah i bumped into that i'm like okay this is what it is so when when now the school was like um if you, they, there are enough owns who actually want to do fine art let's do it and i was like this is actually my chance bro yeah and yeah i took that and then i switched from visual communication to fine, fine art. art and then so my f- sole purpose for that move was for curatorship yeah right because i like putting things together right and make something out of it i feel like what i like about curation or putting things together is stripping individuality from something and making it a part of something you know a nut is a piece of metal right yeah. but strip that away it's an actual functional piece that holds together a whole wheel yeah if there four of them or six yeah. of them you know so i mean that whole being like all right cool we acknowledge your properties but you're not enough alone yeah So let's put you here where you complement something and then you become a whole thing you know because you can't drive a whole nut and, a, and you know a bolt you know <laughs> but like combination that. of that and like you know parts so and like now. fluids and stuff and then you have a whole car that's yeah. running and you can say that oh shit that is a V12 engine with but it's just pieces of metal and oils that are working together yeah. to make something yeah so i feel like that's what also inspires me but also like i feel like also with what to do with how i grew up because my mom is not not much on toys right i would have toys but toys like lego yeah. um puzzles uh how play with a rubik's cube never sold one solved one ever <laughs> but like Fair just enough. playing with that <laughs> you know so yeah i mean that i feel like also just kind of had a thing to yeah, do with kind of like a loose influence you know influence. yeah yeah yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. i don't know shout out my quan bro <laughs> as <laughs> now she as, raised as me you right should, as you should as you should yeah cuz like i feel like now now that you ask me that it's really becoming you know stamped that oh snap like the way i was actually brought up is actually how i became who i am yeah you know like creativity wasn't something that was really shunned down upon it's only like what you're saying about it like because i remember i got this pair of sneakers by acdc and there are a whole lot of you know <laughs> funny stuff yeah. <laughs> that she would call it that <laughs> and she was like oh chuck away these boots i don't care how much you spent on these items chuck them away <laughs> yeah and so that also goes with, like the message you know so yeah fair enough yeah i hear that man that's i think that's like a really good place to end i think yeah. i 